in this video, I'm going to go over what Solana is and just some reasons why I've decided to invest in it. Solana is a web-based blockchain that provides fast, secure, and scalable decentralized apps and marketplaces. Solana has been among the top performing cryptocurrencies since early 2021, with its sole token slowly creeping up the crypto market cap ranks. Perhaps most notably, Solana brands itself the fastest blockchain in the world. This comes from the fact that its blockchain produces one block every 400,000 milliseconds. The Solana token has been getting a lot of press recently, not surprising, considering its potential to outpace Ethereum. The Solana blockchain has its own native token called SOL and is used for paying transaction fees on the Solana network. Also, as a token holder and because of its proof of stake consensus, you will be able to stake your coins and get rewards. So, is Solana better than Ethereum? Well, Let's look at the facts ourselves. Solana is capable of processing more than a thousand transactions per second, while Ethereum handles just 14 transactions per second, according to the data from Blockchair. Now, as of this year, 2021, global crypto ownership rates stand at a dismal average of 3.9%. So whichever coin is going to be able to sustain the potential growth in a world of almost 8 billion people, that coin has to have scalability, has to be secure, and has to be able to handle sudden and rapid expansion of the use of its platform. Solana seems to have all the requirements necessary to be adopted as one of the top 10 tokens that can be used and projected into the near and not so distant future. In February 2021, Solana ranked 47 out of all the cryptocurrencies in the world. Three months later, June 2021, it now ranks 14, with a total market cap of $8.5 billion. Solana, along with most other cryptocurrencies, is slowly creeping out of double-digit losses alongside Bitcoin and most of the other altcoins. You will notice that it's in its own little square block and not in the Ethereum block, which has dozens of dApps sitting on it. Solana has been designed to improve on Ethereum's weaknesses. Now let's move over to the charts and see Solana's price action over the last couple of weeks. We're looking at the daily Tether and Solana chart with the Fibonacci levels in the backdrop. And in the last couple of weeks, most cryptocurrencies, including Solana, have taken quite a hit as indicated by this huge drop. In spite of this major price decline across the board, 
and rejecting price action falling below it every single time. It's interesting to note that this price level here of the 78.6 Fibonacci level has acted as a pretty solid support as can be seen at this point, another point, three and four acting as a super strong level. This is good because now Solana is in a position to get back hopefully to its all-time high of $55 and change. It's also crept back up above the 61.8 price level and seems to be holding its own right now. So this is looking like a good buy opportunity. I would wait for the blue 10 day and the yellow 20 day moving averages to point upwards and for price action to get even closer and preferably seeing a cross on the daily and right from that point, there should literally be nothing stopping Solana from at least attempting to get back to its previous all time high and surpassing it. So if you're a long-term investor like I am, Solana might be a good idea to have in your cryptocurrency portfolio. Well, that's all folks. I hope you've learned something from this video. And if you have, the only thing I ask is that you hit that like button, comment below because I do use your comments to better inform me of what other content to create share with your friends and family. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get my videos as soon as I upload them and I'll meet you in the next video.